morning. <laughs> Ronan is pooping. I can just hear it right now. Um, it is what? I think it's Wednesday. Oh my goodness, Ronan. There's too much poop. He's laying on the playmat right now. Pushing one out. Does that feel good? And I am over here because I was doing my hair and makeup, which is done now, but I'm still in this like robe thingy majiggy. So I need to find something to wear. I need to put deodorant on. Um, it is sunny and beautiful outside right now. My friend Allison is going to come over. So yeah, I need to just like get a few things done, um, throw some laundry and stuff like that. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm hoping to get her to take us to get ice cream because not like buy it, but just take us because my car is broken. But yes, we are home alone, just chilling for now. And Bronx is now watching Ronan, but I'm gonna get up and change his diaper and get ready. Ronan has decided to be a cranky baby, but I did exfoliate his face, so now I just need to, <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> I need to um, put some oil on his face because it's dry. Yes, it is. And he scratched his face, you guys. You can't tell because I exfoliated it, but it was pretty bad. He did it pretty bad last night, and then he cried. So, yeah. These fingernails apparently are not short enough. Might have to put mittens on him today until I can find a time to cut them. But um, his clothes are in the dryer right now, so waiting on those. But I did want to show you guys, I got some free clothes. Yeah, that was that site where like you guys get free points using my link and you can get a discount on clothes and then I get free points when you order clothes. So I got him like a little hoodie and this is a Ralph Lauren like sleeper which was cute and then I got myself this little BDG like cardigan which is cute I can't really unfold these very well to show you but just look at the color I guess this is like a t-shirt from J. Crew. this is just a plain American Eagle striped shirt and this is Oh, this is really hard to unfold. This is an H&M big comfy sweater, which I, I tried all, all this stuff yesterday, and it was really nice, actually. It all fits, so I have to wash those with a bunch of other things that are just laying around in a mess. And there's a romper upstairs that I also got, and usually rompers don't look good on me, but this one is, like, very comfortable, um, it has pockets and stuff, so I love it. And it was free, so it's awesome. Um... Ronan isn't happy, so I'm going to go pick him up and then change over the laundry, I guess. I was going to show you, like, both of our outfit of the days, but he was just crying. So, yeah, I fed him again, even though it hasn't even been, like, 40 minutes. And he fell asleep, so now he's sleeping. See? He's just a tired boy. But I will show you my outfit of the day, I guess. So I'm wearing that dress I got from, like, Old Navy a while ago. Um, I know it shows up kind of red on the camera, or at least all of you kept on saying red. It's actually a very, like, dark pink, but yeah, it is very comfy. I need to retie this tie. I undid it when I was putting Ronan down. Um, and I'm wearing those little sandals I got from TJ Maxx. It has literally been, like, five minutes, because all I did was go around filling that basket with stuff. And he's awake! Say hello. Okay, you can see his outfit now. He's got his mittens on to keep him safe. Woo! Little toes. And he's got his little onesie on, which is a little bit big in the butt. But it says, this is what handsome looks like. Like this. Like you. Ooh. Okay. Well, I put that laundry in the wash, and Ronan is currently eating his mittens. Do those taste good? Do those taste good? Look at me! Oh. <laughs> yeah? Feeling good? You in a better mood now? You only need a five minute nap, that's pretty impressive. Mommy needs an hour nap to feel that happy. You like the camera, huh? Oh, he's so cute. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I got this drink, like, actually I got it last weekend sometime, but I forgot I had it and I never tried it. 
It is a pressed juice, Lakewood Cold Pressed Organic Basics, and it's the Relax kind, which has tart cherry, apple, cranberry, raspberry, and chamomile in it, and it is USDA organic. So yeah, I wanted to try it to see if it even tastes good. It's good for you, but who knows if it tastes good. So I have to set this camera down somewhere. All right, so hopefully this is okay lighting and angle and you can see me because I have no clue, but vacuum sealed. Hmm. That is good. I can actually taste the cherry really well. Tart cherry because mm, one of my favorite pies. I'm not going to get into pies because I think I told you I'm passionate, but tart cherry like pie is so good. This tastes like, this tastes really good. And it's good for you. Oh my goodness, Ronan is sad already. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you so sad with that mama? Huh? You just can't live without me? You're okay. You're okay. Don't cry, okay. You wanna show the tubers how you can walk? One foot in front of the other And soon you'll be walking out the door oh, oh. Come on, I know you can do it One foot in front of the other And soon you'll be walking out the door oh, oh. You're gonna walk in no time, kid Ready? Put one foot in front of the other. <laughs> Come on, walk. Do, do, do. You like the feeling of the floor and your feet? If I put you down, he's not happy if I put him down. <laughs> you just want to be in movement. Huh? You like the motion. The motion. I'm going to have to get him one of those, like, uh, what do they call it? Those things you put them in when they can actually hold their head up completely and then they can scoot across the floor with the wheels. I'm telling you, he's going to be like running when he gets in that. He is so active. So, yeah, he fell asleep. I don't know, he gets so cranky. I think he gets cranky sometimes. It's like, I mean, he'd gone poop, he'd eaten, so obviously the only thing left is just like, he's overtired and he wants to go to sleep. So, dancing, still, it's a miracle. It helps so much. Um, it sucks for me a little bit just because I have to say the biggest thing since having a child is that my back, it kills. Like, I have knots in my back 
that I feel like are pinching nerves, especially on this one side, because I pretty much predominantly hold him on this side, and that's just because I want my right hand to be free so I can like eat and grab things and do other stuff. Um, it just like feels so awkward and like, I don't know, I just can't burp him on this side and stuff, so it is messing up this side of my back. And I don't know what to do about it, I really, I try once in a while to switch sides, but it doesn't work out, so. I keep touching my hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and my mom has this weird cane. This is it, you put the knobs like on your knots and stuff and like use it to massage them out. But even that really hasn't been helping me, so I don't know, it just, it stinks because when I'm dancing around I'm like, oh, my back. And something made my hip hurts today, I don't even know why. I think it's because sometimes when I'm on the floor with him and I have to get up, I just like use all my muscles in my butt and my um, thighs and stuff just to like ugh, get up without like any assistance so I probably strained something. The gardens are coming along guys, some stuff is growing. See I have no clue what everything is but I'll find out. I don't know at all. Look at these cute little like wind things that they put in there. How precious! And those are our fruit trees. And I was actually just told the other day that our peach tree is no longer there. Like, I didn't even know that. We had that peach tree for making, like, jam and pies and stuff for a while. But I guess, like, in some storm, it got, like, pushed over and they had to rip it out. So that is devastating to me. I love peaches. And, like, peaches from your garden taste so much better than the peaches from, like, the grocery store. Because they're so much juicier. We only let Zoe out in the backyard right now because we haven't finished shaving her. So she has, like, a hack job hairdo. And my mom is embarrassed about it. But... At least she has less hair on her. I mean, that's really the point, is she was too hot. So we'll finish it at some point, but right now she looks all lumpy and weird. Here she comes. Hey, baby. Hey, cutie. You can't go through my legs. You can't go through there. I'm wearing a long dress. You did it somehow. I love Zoe always hops around like a little bunny. Look at that little tushy go. Beep, beep. Can you guess who got stuck down the cellar? You're so stupid, Bronx. Allison has been here for a while now. We've just been catching up, watching Parks and Rec, um, playing with Ronan, making him smile and stuff, but we're actually gonna go get ice cream now. Ah, oh, that was nice. Um, yeah, I got some soft serve peanut butter ice cream and we came back and just chilled on the couch with Ronan. Um, he fell asleep on me and she just left. It's like, I think it's around 3.30 probably. And yeah, he's sleeping, so I transferred him into a very loose burrito. See, he's sleeping. But the burrito is like, it's very big. It's not very well tied together. Decided to just go outside with Zoe for a little bit. Um, it's nice outside when it's not windy. When it's windy, it's cold. Like, when we got ice cream, I was freezing. <laughs> uh, I was still eating the ice cream, but I was cold. I had goosebumps. And so, yeah. Later, I'm going to go out with my mom. She wants to go, like... To Sally's and stuff and I just want to get out of the house so I'm gonna go with her I think probably in an hour at like 4.30 or something so I'll have to find a jacket for that because I will get cold in any kind of air conditioned store for sure uh, but yeah I'm just letting Zoe wander around because I feel kind of bad like on days when Wrigley's gone she seems literally depressed like they're very dependent on each other since they're brother and sister and they've been together since they were in their mom's tummy so she like lays around and is sleepy and then like, I don't know, she just seems sad. So I give her extra treats on these days, I try to let her go outside a little bit more. Um, Ronan's just sleeping, so why not? And I would hear him if he cried, so yeah. The birds are chirping in Maine, it's pretty nice out. Oh, I am so sleepy, you guys. Ronan didn't really sleep through the night last night, which is fine, it's like... He did it twice, you know what I mean? He slept for six hours, two nights in a row, so I should just be grateful. But, um, I didn't get a nap today, and ow. Okay, also, I'm sorry, I'm like rambling again, but I have like a weird pain in my stomach, in like my abs, you might call them. I don't, it, like, I don't know. It's like right here. I have like a weird, muscly kind of pain. It hurts. I feel like maybe I like lifted something wrong, and it like... I don't know, because I haven't been doing, like, someone told me not to do too many, like, crunches and, like, ab workouts after when you're postpartum because you can get, like, a hernia or something like that. So I haven't been. I've only been toning, like, my legs or, like, going on walks and stuff. 
So I really don't know what I did to make this hurt, but it really does hurt. We are in Hannaford. I'm getting like some Wix stuff, um, like some rice and cereal. I think my mom is probably looking at the wine. Ronan is sleeping per usual, looking like a little angel. Getting, he gets lots of compliments when we go to the grocery store. He's not smiling. That's not his smile. I'm already a diva. You have to make monkey noises. That's what he likes. He does. Tell Nana you like the monkey noises. You tell Mommy she can make the monkey noises. You can't walk with those slippery feet on. Risky. <laughs> Look, risky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Funk. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, that's a good, good one. one. Good one. <laughs> I told you he likes it. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Okay, so it is the end of the night. Um, I got Rowan to bed. It is 9-11. I also did some dishes and like fed Bronx and stuff. I'm going to go brush my teeth, but I want to do question of the day. And question of the day is by Being Mama. For question of the day, if you had the choice, what is one of your good traits that you would like Ronan to get? And one it what is one not so good trait you would keep from him. Also, if you had to choose a career for him right now, what profession do you think he would be in? Um, okay, so the first part, I thought about this like during today and I talked to my mom about it. So something like a trait of mine that I wouldn't want him to get would be like not being into sports and not being into like team stuff. And it's kind of like a learned trait because my family, like, none of my siblings did any sports. My mom didn't do any sports because she had, like, asthma and stuff. So I feel like a lot of people, they do what sport their siblings did, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, my sister did soccer, so then I got into soccer. Well, we just read books, so that's what my whole family did, is we're all really big readers, but we don't really do any, like, sports. And so I wasn't into that, and I kind of, in high school, wish that I had been. I all of a sudden was like, oh, I wish I could play soccer, but by this time I already am not athletic. I don't really hang with any of the people who have done soccer for years. So yeah, I hope that he is into like team stuff, team building type things. I think it is good for you. And obviously athletic things are like healthy for you. So yeah, that is one tree of mine that I hope he doesn't get is not being athletic and stuff like that. Um, a trait that I hope he does get is, you know, empathy, compassion. I hope that he is nice towards animals. I hope he's caring towards people, you know. Um, there are a lot of people who don't have that, and I think it's important to be, you know, nurturing and sweet, basically. I hope he's a sweet boy. <laughs> um, as far as the profession, it's so hard to think because, I mean, I'm just discovering his personality, like, every day. Every day he seems, you know, his personality is just growing, so it's hard to say what he would do. If it was up to me, I would have him do something like wildlife photography or like wildlife conservation because, I don't know, I mean, I want him to be helping the planet and with those kinds of things, at least the photography, he can do that anywhere. Um, whereas like a, a, before I was thinking like earlier in the day, I was like, oh, what if he was a cook? That'd be really fun. But then I thought, no, I don't want him to be stressed out. I want him to have, like, an open schedule so he can visit me and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. Something to do with animals would be nice, and it would be nice if it was helping the earth in some way. But, um, I am going to go to sleep, so thank you for the question. That was really fun. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe and introduce yourself. But, yeah, I will see you guys next vlog. Bye!